In this video we'll calculate the production possibilities frontier for this question and before we do so we must have a look at the production functions. We can see that we have this Cobb Douglas function for food and for clothing and we can see that they use the same share in their inputs, right? They use half labor, half capital in their production. Now this should give us a signal in our mind that we're dealing with constant returns to scale. This is a property of constant returns to scale function. And recall that for a constant returns to scale function, we will have a linear relationship between food and clothing in our production possibilities frontier. In other words, we would have a line in our production possibilities frontier. So if we want to de derive that, the, the production possibilities frontier where we have a relationship between the quantity of food in the economy and the quantity of clothing in the economy. We need first the intercepts. What's going to be the intercepts? The intercepts are going to be the maximum amount of food that we can produce if we employ all the labor and capital in food production. And the same logic goes for clothing. The maximum clothing that we can produce if we employ all the labor and capital in clothing production. So let's do them one by one. For food production, if we have a look at the function of food production over here, and we know that we have at most 100 units of labor, 400 units of capital in the economy, if we substitute it into our quantity of food produced, that would be 100 to the power 1 over 2 times 400 to the power 1 over 2, which is equal to 10 times 20, so we would produce at most 200 units of food if we employ all the labor and capital available in the economy. So, that goes on our graph. 200 over here. That's first intercept. Now, what's going to be the maximum quantity of clothing that we can produce in our economy? So if we do that over here, if we do that over here, this is the production for clothing. We can see it would be the quantity of clothing equals 2 times the maximum amount of labor, 100 to the power 1 over 2, maximum amount of capital, 400 to the power 1 over 2, it would be 2 times 10 times 20, so that's 2 times 200 equals to 400. That would be the maximum amount of quantity of clothing that we can produce in the economy if we employ all the labor and capital, so 400 over here. Recall that we said we have a linear relationship because it's a constant returns to scale. So constant returns to scale, we have linear PPF, PPF that's a property. Uh, which I explain in the webcasts in the microeconomics playlist, so please have a look there if you're not familiar. This would be a line. And what's the PPF? Since it is a line, it has an intercept. So PPF, right? It will be the quantity of food as a relationship of quantity of clothing, which is an intercept 200 minus. Now, what's going to be the slope? Because we need the slope. The slope is constant because it is a line. So if we take the ratio of the rise over run, 200 over 400, 200 over 400, that's a slope of a half. So we will have 1 over 2 times the quantity of clothing. And 1 over 2 is showing us the opportunity cost. So if we want to produce one more unit of clothing, we must give up a half unit of food. That's what this is showing us. The intercepts are showing how much we can produce if we employ all the capital and labor in their respective industries. And that's it. That's the production possibilities frontier and we are done with this question.